DirectX is an API or application programming interface. It acts as the middleman between the software code of video games and the hardware used to play them. Without DirectX, playing video games would not be as painless as it is today. But what is DirectX and why is it so critical? I just said that an API is software that lets games communicate with hardware, but that's a big oversimplification. After all, hardware drivers that speak to the operating system can also be described in the same way. What an API does is to standardize the catalog of commands and features that game developers can ask computer hardware to provide. It's a layer of software between the game and hardware that translates the two languages that the game and hardware devices speak. To be more accurate, the API speaks to the hardware drivers on behalf of the game, and since both the game and hardware drivers have been written to be compliant with DirectX rather than each other, it means that that conversation is seamless. So, we've established that DirectX is an API that stands between a game and the hardware that it needs to run. But why can't the video game just talk directly to the graphics card, sound card, and all the other bits and pieces it needs? That's exactly what used to happen. In the days of MS-DOS and the early days of Windows, video games communicated directly with hardware drivers. The problem with this approach is that the game developer has to write code for every individual product or product family. If you play a classic MS-DOS game today, you'll see sound card entries for brands such as Creative Sound Blaster or Adlib. These were the most popular sound card brands, so game developers could cover most customers by supporting them, but not all. Eventually, lesser known hardware makers would create products that were compatible with the same drivers as the big names. This is why we got so many Sound Blaster compatible cards back in the day. The result was that, even if you got the most widely supported hardware, there was no guarantee that a given game would work with your computer. DirectX solved this problem. Each version of DirectX, and we're up to DirectX 12 by now, lays down the set of hardware and software features that compatible hardware must have. In other words, if you want your graphics card to be certified for the latest version of DirectX, it has to have a minimum set of capabilities built into it. Developers then write their games not to be compatible with a specific graphics card, but to be compatible with DirectX itself. In other words, both hardware makers and game developers standardize their products to DirectX and, as such, any game and hardware component designed to work with a specific version of DirectX are guaranteed to play nicely with each other. Now here's a fun fact. DirectX is the X in Xbox. Everyone knows the two biggest names in the video game console space are PlayStation and Xbox. But what you might not know is that the original name of the latter was at first Direct Xbox. It's probably for the best that Microsoft decided to shorten the name, but it's also a very accurate description of the console. The first Xbox was put together with PC hardware, running a cutdown version of Windows and DirectX. That's still true today with the latest Xbox Series X and S consoles. One major benefit of this is that porting games between Xbox and Windows is very simple, since they're effectively the same platform. PlayStation and Nintendo Switch consoles use their own APIs. The big question is to what extent you, the user, need to worry about DirectX. In the past, with earlier versions of DirectX on older Windows systems, you would have to install DirectX manually. Most of the time, a given game would bundle the minimum version of DirectX it needed. If that installer detected a newer version of DirectX on your system, it would simply install nothing. Each DirectX version, such as 9C, 11, and 12, is its own thing, but Windows 10 comes with copies of them pre-installed. Your older games will run just fine on your shiny new Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. If you want to know a little bit more about DirectX and its competitors, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.